Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another Unstable Unicorns unboxing. This is a one of the brand new sets that just came out. It's called Four Kids. Um, basically, this is a very simplified version of the game. Uh, granted, the game itself isn't that difficult. The rules are uh, collect seven unicorns, you win the game. Um, and then on your turn, you draw a card. And then you can either play a magic card, play a unicorn, or draw an additional card. Rules are the same for this. Um, the difference is, is they basically got rid of all of the uh, special abilities on unicorns. And then they separated them into different groups. Um, so yeah, I I mean this could definitely be a good, even just be a good starter for uh, a regular person. Like hey, they don't play games ever, they're not a gamer. You can almost start off just even adults or whoever with this game. Um, then they get the concept of, okay, I need to draw a card, play a card, do this, do that. Um, it also gets rid of like upgrades and downgrade cards. Um, so it just simplifies it to unicorns and magic cards. Um, so yeah, it, it, it breaks it down to make it a lot easier. Um, I can definitely see that. I don't think like... If you already own all the other Unstable Unicorn games, um, and you're like, oh, I want more cards, I don't think this is probably really worth your time buying uh, to add into your deck. Um, it should probably be played separately. <coughs> um, and we'll see, you'll see why when you start watching this. So you're going to get 32 colorful unicorns, 8 babies, 32 magic cards, and 8 nay cards. Uh, set up the exact same. Start the game off, draw five cards. Um, put your baby card off to the side. There's the stable ready to go. Uh, like I said, you turn the same thing. Draw or play one card or draw another card. Um, if they have the horn in the corner, it means they're a unicorn. <laughs> uh, so you have basically your... <coughs> your colorful unicorns, as they're called in here which are essentially basic unicorns for all intents and purposes. And then um, you're gonna have baby unicorns. Um, and then the colorful unicorns are separated into eight different colors in different classes. Um, and then the magic cells are separated the same way. Um, and then the different rule of magic cards are to play a magic card, you have to discard a card. Um, so basically, it's, if you want to play a card, discard. Unless you have one that matches a color. So like this is a green one. If I already have a green unicorn in play, I get to play magic cards, green magic cards for free. So it kind of, um, your goal isn't to get seven of the same color. Just seven unicorns, but if you have a variety, you can play more magic cards better. Um, it's essentially, and then yay cards work like regular yay cards. They just stop from playing cards. Um, so nothing other, terribly other exciting about that. Comes with a little poster on the back. So let's jump in and see what cards we got. Alright, the uh, white backed cards are going to be your baby unicorns. And then all other cards will be black. And that's just for the purpose of because the babies never get mixed into the regular deck. If for some reason they would leave your table or the stable as it's also called. Um, which says this card cannot leave your stable. Um, so I think that's one of the other little di rule differences in this. Is it's saying in this game um, you can't get rid of this card no matter what. So you're always going to have at least one unicorn out. And if you get more babies out somehow, which I'm not sure if you even can. Um they would always stay in play. Uh, but per like regular unstable unicorn rules, if for some reason they would leave play, they don't go back to your hand or a discard pile, they go back into the nursery, which is a stack of baby unicorns. Um, baby unicorns never have any special abilities. They're just different colors. So we have a red one, a yellow or a brownish one, a yellow one, a green one, blue one, purple one, pink one, and a black one. So yeah, there's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it was eight of them, I said. So I don't think that's meant. I guess you know, if you want to play up to eight players and each person gets one unicorn. All right, let's look at these guys. So again, they're going to have the little unicorn symbol on the top. They're actually listed as colorful unicorn instead of basic or magical um, like your regular games are. And then afterwards as a hyphen and as a hero card. So the red ones are all heroes. So the different way you're going to be able to tell apart is clearly because it says that. It has the diamond-ish symbol and it's a red card. Um, which just help differentiate it from all the rest. Um, and then it has a special ability that says if this card is in your stable, you do not have to discard when you play a matching red magic card. Um, and they're all going to say that. That's just all their special abilities. So um, when these guys are in play, they don't do anything. They don't have special abilities like magical unicorns do in the regular sets that you have to remember. Um, and that's what's making this game a little bit easier for kids. Um, because the goal is just to play seven unicorns. Um, and every turn you can play one. Or you can choose to play a magic card. Which will give you an advantage. Um, but you might have to discard a card. Or play one with a different color. So that, that's what their only big choice is. If they have. Um, <clears throat> if they have a red magic card in play. They can play it for free. But if they have a yellow one. That might be more beneficial. They might have to discard something, and then you just got that choice of what do they discard. Um, Alright, so we have Superhero Unicorn. We have a Metallic Unicorn. The Caped Unicorn. The Powerful Unicorn. So we get four different ones uh, for each color. So next up, we're going to have the orange ones, which are animals. Um, so you have the Calico Kitten Unicorn. It's effects going to say the same thing. If you have this in your stable, you got the discard, except now it's for the orange cards. Um, Curious Unicorn. Explorer Unicorn. The Doctor Unicorn. Our next set are the Princesses. So we have Enchanting Princess Unicorn. Fairy Princess Unicorn. A warrior princess unicorn and a mermaid princess unicorn. Um, our next set are the aliens or space, I guess. Um, astronaut unicorn, the little green unicorn, the alien unicorn, and the spaceship unicorn. The blue one are sports, so we have a baseball unicorn, soccer unicorn. Basketball Unicorn, and a Luchador Unicorn. Next up we have Purples, which are goofy characters. So we have the Google Unicorn, the Sock Puppet Unicorn, the Balloon Unicorn, and the Class Clown Unicorn. Um, our next set are Rainbows. So these are like the special ones. So we have Little Rainbow Kitten Corn. Skater Unicorn, a Double Rainbow Unicorn, and a Magician Unicorn. And then our final set of Unicorns are the black ones, which are the Fantasy. So an Archer Unicorn, Friendly Witch Unicorn, Dragon Unicorn, and Brave Knight Unicorn. So now with all of these Unicorns in here, again, if you're, if you collect the regular game and you thought oh maybe i could buy this set mix it in um i mean clearly one issue is going to be the backs are different but if you're sleeving them with like uh opaque sleeves in the back that's not an issue then um the other thing that's going to be is that you could basically treat these like um just your uh basic unicorns that don't have any other special abilities anyhow you can replace Replace X number of them out of there and be like, okay, so I had eight or I had 16 uh, basic unicorns currently in this deck in the base set or whatever. Take them out, put some of these guys in. Um, most of these aren't going to affect anything one way or the other, with the exception of possibly the kitten corn and the mermaid might have. 
and the dragon. Those three might have other cards that use those words. Otherwise, the rest of them aren't. I don't believe are going to have any extra effects. Alright, so now let's look at the magic spells, which are the other big half of the game. So, they're going to be color-coded again red. They're going to have the symbol to match up, just to really help out. The star icon. Um, so, it's a magic card hero. And then it has a lot clearer text, I'm going to guess. So, it's going to say destroy. Discard a card. Then move a color for unicorn from each other player's stable to the discard card pile. Um, so again, if you have another hero out, you can play this for free. If not, you have to uh, do this destroy ability, which is discarding a card and then moving a color colorful player from each other's stable to their discard pile. So you get, get rid of everyone's things. It's pretty powerful. Um... But that's what the reg was going to do. But now here's what's also kind of interesting. You get four of them. So each color is going to have the same ability. So you don't, again, it's simplifying it. So that's what um, red's going to do. Red's going to destroy and get rid of one. So then we're going to have four copies of the orange one, which are animal, which is fetch, which says discard a card. Discard. discard a card, then each other player must move a card from their hand to the discard pile. So... And this also makes it easier because then you can kind of, if you're playing multiple times with kids or whoever, um, you're going to start remembering what to do. Like, oh, the red one destroys stuff. The, you know, orange one discards stuff. So then, like, we have the yellow one for the princesses, uh, which is going to say draw two. And this is discard a card. Then add the top two cards to your deck. And again, that discard. If you have one of the unicorns, it says uh, if you do not have to discard card when you play a matching card. So if you have the matching unicorn, you don't have to do that discard effect. And that's the discarding part it's talking about. It's not an additional discard. Uh, but yeah, this one, yellow ones let you draw an extra two. The green ones, which are space, um, is abduction. It says trade. Discard a card, then switch hands with another player. So maybe if you have cards you don't like, or something that's not helpful to you, you can get rid of them. Maybe you have a bunch of magic spells that don't match your colors. Um, or maybe you don't have any unicorns. Um, or maybe you have two cards in your hand, and that other guy has five. Um, you're trying to be really mean. Uh, here we have the light blue ones, which are sports. The good ball, which is really funny. And it's ability called search. Discard a card and look through the discard pile. Choose a card in it and add it to your hand. And then we have the purple ones, which are the goofy ones, which is prank. He <laughs> glued him to the chair. Skip. Discard a card, and then the next player must skip their turn. Um, the only thing I don't like about this card is it says the next player. Because uh, anything else is like, you can, like... So far, they've had um, Destroy, which is all players. And then Discard is all players. This lets you draw. This one, you get to choose a player. But then that one's just the next player. So you're always going to then be targeting whoever's next to you. Um, anywho, I just, it'd be kind of neat if that was like target player, pick a player. But I did it. Uh, here we have the rainbow cards, Prism Prism, which has Take. Discard a card, then move a colorful unit card from another player's stable to your stable. Then give that player a card from your hand. Uh, so again, it's trying to keep it even. Um, because yeah, even though you get one of their cards, you have to give them something. And then we have the fantasy one, Dragon Training, which has Swap. Discard a card, then switch a colorful unit card in your stable. With a colorful unicorn and another player stable. And then finally we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 8 copies of Nay. Which is pink in this one. <coughs> because uh, Red was superhero. And I also think they did it just so you don't um, confuse this Nay with the other Nays. Not that it should make a big difference. It says, play this card when another player tries to play a card. Stop that player's card from being played and sent to the discard pile. Uh, so it's just your basic nay card. 
um, doesn't do anything different. Um, that's all we got for this. Uh, there's not a ton to it, but that is unstable unicorns for kids. So yeah, if you're if you're kind of enjoying this game or you have younger kids that might you think might enjoy it, but maybe all the extra at the beginning of the turn and this effect and discard to do this and all them special magical unicorn cards are too much. Try them out on this for a while. Um, back of the box. Uh, so it's saying two to six player game, good for ages six plus. Um, yeah, check it out if it's something. You know, so if it's something you're interested, I get it. If you're trying to buy it to have more cards to add into your other decks, it's probably not really worth it. Um, like baby, because it mainly big one because you have different backs. So unless you're using special backs, that's not going to help. Um, add the magic cards. Um, they're pretty nice, but you're going to get, um, I think it's more fun with the regular set where there's only like one or two copies of each versus four. So you're not constantly running into the same stuff. <laughs> um, kind of nice for kids because it's repetitive. So if they play it enough, um, they'll start to remember, oh, red card does this, black card does this. Um, they can keep remembering that makes it a little bit easier for them. But I think you're older and you want a little bit more uh, from your game. The regular versions are going to give you um, a lot more options. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.